Newcastle, are you ready? This is the WBA Light Welterweight Championship of the World. Please welcome into the ring the challenger from Brooklyn, New York, USA, Dimitri Salita.
Salita, he has to prove he belongs in this elite class. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Metro Radio Arena here in Newcastle. Frank Warren, in association with Khan Promotions and Square Ring Promotions, sponsored by Betfred, Queensbury Boxing and Green Hill Boxing Equipment. Proudly present the main event of the evening, 12 three-minute rounds for the WBA Light Welterweight Championship of the World, live and exclusive here on Sky Box Office. Your officials are appointed by the World Boxing Association and the British Boxing Board of Control. And your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Stanley Christodolo from South Africa, Mr. Guillermo Perez Paneda of Panama and Takisha Shimakawa from Japan. Your WBA supervisor is Mr. Jesper Jensen of Denmark and your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge this evening is Mr. Charles Charles from England. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Louis Pavon of Puerto Rico. Your timekeeper at the belt is Arnold Bryson of Darlington. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, introducing the challenger. Tonight, he fights out of the red corner. He's wearing the black shorts. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 10 stone. Tonight, he brings with him an unbeaten record of 30 wins against just one draw with 16 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Brooklyn, New York, USA. Please welcome the challenger for the title and WBA number one contender, Dimitri Salita. And across the ring is a man who needs no introduction on these shores. Tonight, he fights out of the blue ball. He's wearing the green shorts. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, 13 pounds, eight ounces. And tonight he brings with him a record of 21 wins with 15 knockouts against just one loss. 
In 2004, he captained silver in the 2004 Olympic Games and in just five years became a world champion as a professional. And tonight, he makes the first defense of his crown. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting and introducing from Bolton, England, the WBA light welterweight champion of the world, Amelia Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Hey guys, I give you the closure to the dressing room. We have a team, my good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three minute rounds to decide the WBA Light Welterweight Championship of the World. Same referee, by the way, as for the David Hay Nikolai Valiwe fight tonight. Hay became world heavyweight champion. A final prayer from both boxers. Dimitri Salita looking to follow in the footsteps of Jewish fighters and parents of Gato and the great lightweight champion Bernie Lado and Max Baer and Maxi Rosenblum as well. Khan in the green shorts is starting to be great. He is going to be massive. 
of it. If he goes to the States early next year, as we expect him to do, this is a tremendous performance. OK, I thought of a, a disappointment that we didn't see more exchanges, didn't see more of Salita, but he just wasn't given the chance. That first punch was a beauty, it was a finisher. Well, he's always in spectaculars, it seems to me. Ali Khan, and his next job is going to be the chief sparring partner for Manny Pacquiao for that big fight against Floyd Mayweather, which is set for March the 13th, by the way. It might be useful sparring for Pacquiao on this evidence. But even look at the, the way he stepped in with the jab, which caused the third knockdown. Referee knew no point letting us go further. And look how delighted he is. They say defending a title is a bit tougher than winning it. Well, maybe not. Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute 16 seconds of round one, your referee has stopped the contest. He deemed Dimitri Salita was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner and still the WBA light welterweight champion of the world from Bolton, England, Amir Khan. and fans stand on their feet. An ovation for Amir Khan. And why not Johnny Nelson after that lightning quick display? A controlled rage of two fists of assault from Khan. Talita didn't have no idea where it came from. He just knew when they landed. You know, you think 10,000 fans might feel a bit short changed with a one and a half minute win, but not the way he did that. It was spectacular. You know, he came out fast as lightning with a beautiful right hand. He needed to make an impression today, and didn't he do that? Nobody predicted that, Nicky Piper. Well, we did say, didn't we? You know, we love him because you never know what can happen. And as soon as he landed that first punch, you know, Salita was a worthy challenger. He was a good quality fighter, but taken out so coldly, so quickly. And well, as soon as he went down, you know he wasn't was coming back from that. This will always make him heads and shoulders above every fighter he comes across so quick because of the speed. His speed is too hard to deal with from anybody in his division. Remember, he's the first fully fledged light well to weight his box. Glenn, 15 months on from, from Bradis Prescott, what an amazing, it's, amazing time he's had. It's almost a new person, isn't it? I mean, he has just, he's, he's come a full circle, he's rounded. Good, solid professional, and that was spectacular. Excitement guaranteed. He wanted to make a statement, and he made one. Let's hear from him, talking to Adam Smith. A sizzling 76-second defence of your world title. I bet you couldn't have dreamt it would be as good as that. You know, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank the Newcastle fans for coming down here. You know, I love them. Um, it's like boxing at home. But yeah, you know, today's performance was a great performance. Me and Alex Ariza and also Freddie Roach worked on power. You know, we know what mistakes we made in the Katelnik fight, even though we won the fight. We need to sit down on the shots more. I have the power to do it, so that's what we did today. Dimitri Salita unbeaten in 31. That had never happened to him before. Was that always the plan, to start really fast? We didn't really start fast, you know, we, we boxed him and the first shot what connected was clean and he went down. Uh, that's when I seen him under pressure, that's when I put the pressure on. I looked in the corner, Freddie was there, Freddie told me to take it easy, faint him a little bit, but I could see in his eyes he was gone. What on earth has happened to you in the last 15 months? I mean, it was a one-round demolition against you by Brenis Prescott and then this tonight to end 2009. You know, it's a, I, I want to tell all the fans out there that I want to show them that Amir Khan's not finished, he come back stronger. That defeat was a blessing in disguise and it's only made me a better fighter. Now I can enjoy the rest of the year. Merry Christmas to everyone out there and Happy New Year and I can just relax and hopefully New Year's going to hold a lot of good, great fights for me. Freddie Roach, is America next? You seem the man to have transformed Amir Khan. Can he take the States by storm too? He can take the world. I mean, the world is in his right now, this weight division. Nobody can touch him, I feel. We, we fear nobody out there. So the States would be great for him. Um, whoever wants to step up and fight, we're ready. We hear the next assignment is sparring with Manny Pacquiao in the new year. Frank Warren, what do you want to do? Do you want to hit America next with Amir or keep him in Britain? I think everybody's, you know, rushing, not going to rush into a decision to decide anyway what to do today. You know, next week and next, or the next couple of weeks, we'll sit down and uh, have a think about it and see what the options are. Finally, Amir, map out your perfect 2010. 
Yeah, 2010 is gonna have some great fights. I'm sure me and Frank are gonna go to the States. We're gonna, you know, show the Americans out there that how good we are. Um, I've got the talent and the speed and the power to do it. I've, I've got a training camp with Freddie, one of the best trainers in the world. I can only get better, you know, as I'm maturing, I've still not hit my peak. I'm 22 and 23 in about three days time. But you know what, this is an early birthday present and 2010 is gonna hold some big things for me. Wonderful stuff, well done tonight all of you.